How long will the relationship between the narcissist and the new supply last? Hello lovelies, welcome to Nut Free Formula, my name is Freedom, thank you for joining me. Alright, so this video is the second video um, to the previous How Long Do Narcissistic Relationships Last? Um, this video is for anyone who has been dumped by the narcissist, discarded by the narcissist and has had to witness them pick up with new supply uh, within days, weeks or months and who are wondering how long um, that new relationship is going to last. So the few points that I wanted to kind of touch on, and if you haven't watched the previous video, you should probably watch that first. Um, but anyhow, let's just get down to it, lovelies. So remember this, that the narcissist wears a mask. Okay, so what you're seeing, you know, when you're looking at their social media or when you're hearing stories from other people about, you know, what they said or what the narcissist saw uh, said to them or what they saw you know how the narcissist was behaving just don't even worry about any of that stuff it's all just performance art okay you got to remember that the narcissist is just wearing a mask they always have and they always will they don't ever show anyone what's really going on so they're pretending to be someone that they're not they're pretending to be loyal and faithful and you know right or die and this is just not the truth in fact this couldn't be further from the truth the fact of the matter is that narcissists at their very essential core are self-serving opportunistic uh, lazy and will always always take advantage of people so when I say self-serving, you need to ask yourself this question. So what is there to gain? Narcissists only do relationships when there is something to gain. So if you left them, they would have picked up with someone quick smart because they needed to right the wrong. They need to show the world that, no, no, it's not me, it's her. You know, look at me, I'm in happy, healthy relationship. Um, you know, it's that's one of the kind of narc 101 moves, essentially. Um, but if, however, they discarded you um, and picked up with new supply, you need to look at, you know, what was the benefit or the gain? They will never just, you know, um, they don't do anything for without a reason, is what I'm trying to say. There's always a reason. There's always some benefit or gain. Um, so have a look at that. You know, just for example, is it someone who's got a lot of money? Have they picked up with a woman who's 20 years older than them, who's got a lot of money. I mean, in that situation, you the next question to ask is, well, how long will the benefit last? Um, so is that money going to always last? Is it going to run out? How much money has she got? I mean, the narcissist will stay in a situation like that, where they have that money, um, where they have access to that money, they will try and put it into their name. They'll figure out, try and figure out a way to get control of that money. And as soon as they've done that, well, that's when they'll probably, you know, skip on to new, newer, younger, more vulnerable or richer, depending on what they're looking for, supply. Like I said, they're opportunistic. They're always looking. So they're always looking, always <laughs> looking for new supply, new sources of supply, new um you know potential good outcomes so every time they meet someone they literally put that person through a quick you know once over scan them for what can be gained what benefit is this person going to bring to me what can i take from them what can i steal from them how will they enrich my life um so and the reality is that you know opportunity you know only arrives certain times in our lives so they could stay with the new supply for as long as it takes for something better to come along. Doesn't mean that they're happy. Doesn't mean that they're being loyal. It doesn't mean that it's anything less than hell on absolute earth. Um, but best believe that they'll put all their best photos up on social media. They'll be telling anyone who'll listen how, how amazingly in love they are. How... You know, she's just the woman of his dreams. I mean, they, they do that stuff for a reason. It's in part to punish you as the ex for thinking you could dare to live without them. It's to punish you. It's to uh, 
to mind control the new supply, so the new victim, because, you know, she's being treated badly behind the scenes and is wondering, you know, which way is up? What is going on? Why is he so mean to me? And then, yeah, he says these lovely things about me on social media. I mean, they do that stuff for a reason. So essentially, as I'm saying, you know, there's always something to be gained. They'll always take the path of least resistance. So whatever is easiest. So just say you had, I don't know, two people who had exact same levels of income, looks, um, opportunity, opportunity, whatever. But one was more eager. So easier. You know, one was just like, yeah, come on, move in. I'll take care of everything. And the other one was like, no, you have to show that you're a good man before I 